Good day, Ronnie. I said good day. I said good day. I said good day. Good day. Good day, sir. Nice to have you with us. Hey, Ronnie, um, what if I told you that I have some things, some tips Ooh. that could make your life better? And when you hear them, you're going to go, man, I wish I'd have known that sooner. I'm all yours. Okay, good, because that's what we're going to do today on Men Are So Smart. Good morning. Welcome to Men Are So Smart. I'm Lou Gallagher. I am Corvette Ronnie. And uh, from time to time, we like to share with you life hacks as we stumble across them. Things that will be certain to make your life a little bit easier and maybe even save you some time. So without further ado, mm -hmm. today we present life hacks you'll wish you knew sooner. For instance, a pasta lighter. This thing's brilliant. It really is, because everybody brilliant. always has this pasta. Yep. We're sure you're stocking up on sweet-smelling candles for the holidays to make your home extra cozy in the colder months. But if your candles are burning too low to reach the wick, there's no reason to go without your favorite scent. Instead of burning your fingers, light a piece of uncooked spaghetti. It'll reach into those deep candles and burn long enough to light the candles on any cake you may be serving. That is brilliant. That really is an amazing idea. We have lots of candles in our house. <laughs> oh, we do too. Yeah. Yeah, we do too. Always always one running. Yep. Uh, this next one, identify your keys at a glance. What do you mean? So let's say that you have numerous keys, quick set keys or slag keys. I do. That all look pretty much the same. They do. Sometimes you walk up to a door takes two or three attempts before you can do it. Right. This is suggesting to a take- A life hack? A life hack. Life hack. Life hack. Take paint and paint both sides of a key to identify it. So I should get my compressor out and uh, my spray gun. You don't have nail polish hanging around? Oh, you didn't say nail polish. Oh, I'm sorry, yeah. You well, paint, paint? paint paint, or nail polish. Okay, all right. Yeah, I know you have nail polish. Oh, well, I'm wearing it now. <laughs> <laughs> all right, next up. You, how about this? You get a book, a used book, and somebody has highlighted some of the pages. Oh. For whatever that's reason. Annoying. You ever wish you could remove those from a book? Well, check it out. Lemon juice fades highlighter enough to make it virtually undetectable. Cut a lemon in half, get some juice on a cotton swab, run the swab over the highlighted text, and watch. The color amazing fade. Now, when I was in college, I bought used books because I was I couldn't afford anything Who else. I bought used books. They've already been pre-highlighted. You don't really have to do a whole lot of studying no. when somebody has highlighted yeah. all the important stuff that's going to be on tests. Yeah, it's already there for you. Yeah. All right, love that. All right, next one: fog-free mirrors. Oh, yeah, like in the sh when you get out of the shower. When you yeah, get out yeah. of the shower or your car, like your yeah. rear view mirror. Uh -huh. um, I think we've all seen that where, like, like you're saying, the shower. This is saying that if you put a little car wax on a mirror, let it haze up, and then buff it off, no more fog. Question. Go ahead. You, sir. Does it have to be Carnuba? Carnalba? Carnuba. <laughs> <laughs> Old joke, sorry, from the radio show. Uh, do you have kids or grandkids? Yeah, you do. Children's toys are a breeding ground for germs. A dishwasher makes quick work of disinfecting, disinfecting toys that are washable, like Legos. Better in the washing dishwasher than on the floor to step on. Yeah, bare feet. Here's how you do it. Are you writing this stuff down? Because, you know, I'm only going to do it once. Go slow. It's going to be a test. <laughs> Drop the Legos in the garbage. No. Exactly. Drop the Legos in a laundry bag to keep them contained. You can't stop them. You can only hope to contain That's them. That's all. Yep. Run your dishwasher as usual. But there's always a butt, Ron. Remove is the Legos. Yeah, it is. I it like really is. Butts. You don't want me. I, I cannot lie. These other fellas can't deny. <laughs> But remove the Legos before the drying cycle, letting them air dry completely on a towel. This method also works well for other treasures like seashells, dish brushes, 
rags, sponges, wigs, <laughs> hats. The list goes on. Uh, th th that's how you wash a hat, a baseball hat. You know, they have these little containers now that you put the hat in. You got one. That's it right there. There's one right mm -hmm. there. Yeah. Yeah. In the studio. What are we doing with a hat holder in the studio? I have no it's idea. It's there, though. Uh, okay. This one. Uh -huh. My wife, since we've been married, has never touched an iron. When, But I don't like to wear wrinkly clothes. Right. And so I do. I pull out an iron and I iron my shirts that have to look nice. I've been known to do that myself. This is get the wrinkles out with zero effort. Without Ronnie, out touching an iron. I need to know more, please. I'm going to tell you. Okay. Hold on. All right. Spunky. Okay. Uh, ditch the time consume, consuming iron or handheld steamer mm -hmm. to get wrinkles out of a shirt or slacks. Throw a few ice cubes or a wet washcloth in the dryer with your wrinkled clothes. As the ice melts and the water turns to steam, it will remove the wrinkles. Uh, trick is not as effective on heavy clothing as it is on lighter clothing, like a dress shirt. You know what I think that was? That's a life hack. Science! It could be science also. Yeah. How about a dryer lint fire starter? What, you say? <laughs> <laughs> to properly build a fire, you need to have tinder, easy lighting material, kindling, finger-sized sticks, and fuel, logs. We all have a readily available supply of tinder. It's dryer lint. To make fire starters, stuff empty toilet paper tubes with dryer lint. My dryer lint logs light quickly and easily burn long enough to light up the kindling, and you don't have to resort to lighter fluid. That is amazing. I'm telling you what, and that's like, it's almost like science. And it's free. Yeah. Yeah. All right, this one, I love this one because I've bought several of these. This is the zip tie phone stand. Now, I have occasion to uh, use my phone to watch YouTube quite a bit. And I have a, a little stand that it sits in and it sits at just the right angle. You can make a phone stand out of zip ties. So if you Put a zip tie around each end of your phone. I'm looking at the picture. Pull it till it's tight. Not super tight, but just snug so uh -huh. you can pull them off the phone afterwards. Right. It is just enough strength to hold that phone in an upright position. Wow. And you're set. And zip ties, go to Harbor Freight. You can buy 100 of them for 99 cents. Yeah. They're really cheap. Yep. All right. On our list of life hacks you'll wish you knew sooner. Ever go to the beach but don't want to take your wallet? Uh, at the beach, for example, when you have to leave your belongings unattended, like to go for a swim or something, but you still need to have cash on hand for food. So what you do is you turn an empty tube of lip balm into a secret cash stash. Oh, boy. No one's going to steal that. No. <laughs> you could do the same with an empty stick of sunscreen, too. A long nail works great for digging out any remaining bits of lip balm, and a cotton swab wipe uh, will take away any waxy residue. Uh, and it's easy to carry in your pocket, but you know, as I think about this, it sounds like it'd be easier to lose. You know what I'm saying? How much cash do you carry, though? None. <laughs> All right, and now this is something we're just redoing our friend landscaping, uh -huh. and this talks about easy mulch spreading. Okay. Life hack. Uh, getting mulch up close to flowers and bushes is easier if the mulch is in a small container. So I place buckets and pails in my wheelbarrow and fill them with, up with the mulch. It uh, doesn't matter much if the mulch misses the bucket and lands in the wheelbarrow. Once you're done dumping the buckets, dump what's left in the wheelbarrow in an open area and spread it out. So it is I mean, instead of grabbing it by your hands and tossing it up next to the plants and shrubs mm -hmm. and bushes, just use a fill up a bucket. A car wash bucket will work fine. Yes. All right, how about you get gum in the carpet? I hate it when that happens. Yeah. A lot of times when I'm choking to death on gum and I'm on the ground, <laughs> I spit it out. After the Heimlich. I'm trying to make this work here. <laughs> when gum freezes, mm -hmm. 
it gets brittle and breaks apart very easily. So if you have gum stuck in your carpet, freeze it to remove it quickly and neatly. I have heard that before. Place a sandwich bag filled with ice cubes on top of the gum and wait about a half hour. When the gum is frozen, break it apart and pull it out of the carpet. No trace left behind. Mm. And you know what works for gum and hair? Peanut butter. Really? But then you have peanut butter in your hair. Well, that's not the worst thing that can happen. <laughs> All right. What do you do if the table you're working at seems too short? Uh, kneel down. Well, here's a life hack that's a little better than just kneeling down. Sounds like I need it. Uh, I have a typical six-foot folding table, much like the one we're using right here, mm -hmm. uh, that I use to lay out certain projects. But the height of the table is meant for someone sitting in a chair. Constantly bending over when using the table started to hurt my back, so I came up with a solution. You take PVC pipe, make a 12 or a 16 or a 24 foot inch section, put it on four legs, raise it up. Now it's at perfect standing height. Life hack, right well, at you. Right there. Right at you. Well, you're just on your game today. Ron. Oh, this one, that one. Yeah, you got that's good solid. That's solid. Okay, so people that work with wood or do repairs around the house, here's a thought. To make a versatile wood filler absolutely free, just grab a paper plate, combine Elmer's or any other wood glue with sawdust that you get from cutting oh, your wood. Yes. Whatever saw you're using. Like other wood fillers, you could stain it or finish it but the color will likely be a bit different than the surrounding wood, but it's sandable, paintable, and long-lasting, and uh, most people do that and never have to buy a wood filler again. What, well, a hack. A definite hack. I didn't have time to say life hack. I just said <laughs> hack. Now, this is one thing. I, I have a lot of tennis shoes. I don't like my tennis shoes looking dingy. Admitting the problem is 90%, right? Yeah, well, that's the first step. Yeah. That's the first step in the 12-step process. Right. This is how to keep your new your shoes looking new. Okay. Okay. All you need is an old toothbrush or your son's toothbrush, you know, whichever. Same thing. Yeah. Or, you know, whatever you scrub the toilet He's with. He's not using it. He's not going to use it. Uh, and uh, and your, to get your old sneakers looking like new non-gel white toothpaste works great for cleaning white soiled sneakers uh colored toothpaste would definitely probably stain so yeah just stick with the white stuff it's the green. cheaper anyway um and then uh whoops okay. must be 10 o'clock our shows should be starting <laughs> <laughs> apply the toothpaste to the old toothbrush and then work the paste into the dirty spots leave the tooth toothpaste on the shoes for about 10 minutes and then wipe it off with a damp towel. Repeat the process if necessary. Yeah, go ahead, repeat. No, First no, you take no, a toothbrush. No, no. <laughs> All right, I can see that. Yes, I can definitely see it. And your shoes won't get cavities either. All right, here's, here's something, and I, and I go through this a lot. You forget to put beer in the refrigerator and you go to work and when you get home, the beer's warm. If there was only a way that you could make that beer colder how, faster. How could that, how could you do it? Science, Ron. What? Dang. Does wrapping a wet paper towel around a warm can or bottled beverage and putting it in the freezer cool it faster than if there were no paper towel around it? Well, mm. some folks theorize that the wet paper towel is analogous Analogous <laughs> to sweat, since it's well known that evaporation of sweat pulls heat away from the body, causing a cooling effect. The same should happen with a canned beverage in the freezer, right? That makes perfect sense. There are lots of expert opinions about this online supporting both sides of the argument. I've had many opportunities to experiment, and to me, it seems to make a difference. So what you do is you take a wet pepper towel, you wrap it around your can, and put that in the freezer, and it will get colder than it would if it were just sitting there alone. 
take that to the bank. That is a that's an unbelievably great life hack. Couple more, Ron. Wish I'd have thought of it. How often? It seems like something we break glass once a week in our house. Oh, me too. I think the dog tails yep. and everything else all added up. We're constantly breaking glass. We dropped a light bulb the other day. Broke. Effectively and safely sweep up glass. Uh, everyone who's ever swept the floor with a, a standard broom and dustpan knows that the annoying line of dust, uh, it's the line that just won't disappear no matter how many times you try and sweep it up. Uh, to get rid of the annoying line, simply tape the front of the dustpan to the floor. Oh, wow, that's amazing. With blue painter's tape, so no residue will be left on the floor. It will seal and cover the gap between the floor and your dustpan. Wow. That is amazing. Yeah. Oh, my God, that's so great. Why didn't we think of that sooner? Oh, I love that one. Hmm. You know, sometimes you just need to put ice on something. Your knee, your back, Ankle. wrist, whatever. Yep. But you don't have an ice pack. Or you can't find it in the freezer. It's, it's right there below the peas. <laughs> ice packs are a great way to keep your lunch cool, but they're a bit expensive if you're in the habit of losing them. Here is a do-it-yourself ice pack hack that is reusable. First, purchase an inexpensive pack of sponges or just find some old ones around the house. Grab a big bowl of water and let the sponges completely soak up as much water as they possibly can. After soaking the sponges, put each sponge in a small Ziploc sandwich bag mm. and zip it close. Oh. These bags serve two purposes. First, as the ice melts, the bag contains the water so it doesn't make a mess in your lunch. Second, keeping the water contained allows the melted sponge to reabsorb the water so it is ready to refreeze the next day. Now, freeze the wet and bag sponges overnight. In the morning, all you need to do is toss the ice pack in your lunch box. That is a great idea. I'm gonna start doing that tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, I love that one. Yeah. Okay, this one, uh, I recently, you know, I set out all my, my medications that I take uh, like a week in advance. Uh -huh. I have a, a week long thing. Uh, one of the dogs came in and spilled it off of the counter. And so there were pills, and I have like a little carpet underneath my sink. And so it was, uh -huh. they were all there, and it's like shag carpet. How to find all those pills. This is an ingenious way to do that using a shop vac, which I love to use a shop vac. Oh, look at that picture. You put a, a nylon, preferably, you know, you're, you're done robbing banks for the week, and so you've got an extra nylon that you would well, normally see, stick over your that's what I was head. thinking. What am I yeah. going <laughs> So you put the nylon over the open nozzle, and anything that would typically get sucked up into the hose stands right there on the end of the nozzle. Brilliant. That is freaking brilliant, I'm Ronnie. using that the next time the dog knocks over my pill container or any small item. All right. Little nuts and screws. Oh, those are the worst, too. Yeah. When you've taken a little tiny nut out of it. Or uh -huh. God dang. I always lose those. Yep. I can't see them. That's part of the problem. Yep. Yeah, me too. Uh, that one we won't do. That one we won't do. Uh, okay. I think that's going to bring us to the conclusion, I can say the word, <laughs> of another Men Are So Smart. Uh, we found uh, a lot of hacks that we shared with you. Yeah. We hope you'll find them um, usable for yourself. And we didn't hack anything up during the hacks. No. That's a bonus. And, and we didn't hack any cars or anything. Yeah. Yeah. Car hacker. Super bonus. Yeah. We didn't hack any computers. And no one got hurt. Yeah. And no animals were used in the testing of this radio, of this uh, YouTube show. No. Uh, I'm having trouble talking, so I think it's time for me to get out of here. Double? You're having trouble talking? I'm having trouble talking. <laughs> All right, I'm Luke Gallagher. Corvette Ronnie. Yada, yada, yada. See you on the next Men Are So Smart. Bye-bye.